So this is a Mexican axolotl, and it's basically a member of the salamander newt family. University of Florida researcher Dr. Edward Scott is preparing for an experiment. He is researching these unique looking amphibian self-healing powers. This little fellow is missing a leg, and essentially within a month it will have grown completely back. Dr. Scott is researching the Mexican axolotl because it shares 90% of the same genes as humans. He hopes one day to decode the secrets of these animals' regeneration abilities. It is uh, basically the champion of vertebrate regeneration. Uh, it can grow back entire limbs, portions of the spinal cord, heart, brain, etc. Dr. Scott's research is part of the Regeneration Project a collaboration of researchers with various scientific backgrounds. Dr. Dennis Steinler, director of the McKnight Brain Institute at the University of Florida, founded the group three years ago. The Regeneration Project is an awesome interaction of several of the best regeneration biology researchers in the world who we've brought together in a think tank style uh, group of interacting collaborators to train postdoctoral fellows to use the best research tools to discover why we don't regenerate, uh, meaning us human beings, as well as some other vertebrates, including uh, the axolotl. The Regeneration Project was initially funded by private donors, but recently got a boost in funding, receiving a National Institutes of Health Grand Opportunity Grant for $2.4 million. Researchers want to find ways to tap unused human capacities to treat spinal cord injury, stroke, traumatic brain injury, and other neural conditions. Receiving one of these very small numbers of these co-grants, because there weren't many funded in the United States, is, is a, uh, a buy-in uh, from the federal government showing that they like the approach of the Regeneration Project to try to cure human diseases. Research and regeneration is once again gaining popularity because of recent advances in scientific technology. So with these new genetic tools, uh, we can really start getting at the underlying mechanisms of why they regenerate and we don't. Dr. Steinler says the keys to this project's success will come from training the research fellows that are assisting in the regeneration project. At the University of Florida, I'm Chris Billowich.